Hi, I'm Chelsea, and I'm an engineer here at Monster Brewing Hardware. Today, I'm going to show you how to set the gap on your MM3 Monster Mill. To get started, you'll need a feeler gauge, a permanent marker, and of course, your mill. Always set the gap between the drive roller and the adjustable roller. When the mill is operating properly, grain will feed down between the drive roller and the bottom roller and come out this gap. Pick two blades on your feeler gauge that add up to 40 thousandths of an inch, which is the recommended starting gap spacing on the mill. I'm going to use 19 and 21 thousandths. If you have a metric feeler gauge, set the gap to one millimeter. To get started, turn the mill with the drive shaft to your right and the thumb screws up. Loosen the thumb screws so that you can turn the adjustment knobs. Insert the feeler gauge blades into the gap on the end you want to adjust. Turn the top of the knob away from you until the blade is fairly tight in the gap. Pull the blades out of the gap. Repeat the same procedure on the opposite end of the roller and the adju other adjustment knob. Do this again on both ends so that you are sure the gap is parallel. When you pull the feeler gauge blades out, it should have the same resistance on both ends and the rollers should turn. Once the gap is set, tighten the thumb screws to lock in the gap setting. Make a mark with the permanent marker on the knob and the frame that line up so you can return to this gap setting if it changes. Repeat this on the other frame and knob. With your gap set and knobs marked, you're ready to grind. Now you can go back to the same spacing at any time by realigning the marks. Feel free to make additional marks on the frames for other gap settings. Thanks for watching. Give us a thumbs up if you liked our video, and stay tuned for more clips from Monster Brewing Hardware.